In this slide, we're looking at a uterus that's in the proliferative phase of the menstrual cycle. And here, the uterus is under the influence of estrogen that's being secreted by ovarian follicles. So the uterus can be defined into three coats. So on the left-hand side, we can see the outer coat, which is the perimetrium. And deep to this, we can see a large layer of smooth muscle. This is called the myometrium and consists of three indistinct layers. And finally, we have the endometrium. And the endometrium is going to be sloughed off during menstruation. And if we look at it in particular, we can see it's subdivided into two specific areas. So here we can see below this green line, we'll have what's called the stratum basalis. And beyond this green line, we have the stratum functionalis. And it's the stratum functionalis layer that is going to be sloughed off during menstruation. So the stratum basalis is going to contain uh, glands as well as arteries that are going to help reconstitute and rebuild the endometrial lining that's sloughed off during menstruation. So in particular, if we look at the stratum functionalis, we know this is in the proliferative phase by the appearance of the glands. So here, the gland that's outlined in green, it has a relatively straight appearance. And in the secretory phase of the menstrual cycle, uh, these glands would have more of a serrated or corkscrew appearance. And adjacent to these glands, we can see in this endometrial lining of the stratum functionalis, we can see the coiled arteries that are accompanying these uterine glands. So we can see them outlined here as they extend towards um, the outer portion of the stratum functionalis and these will also lengthen as the stratum functionalis begins to rebuild. And finally, the epithelial coat or lining of the endometrium is a simple columnar epithelium and it's continuous with the glands of the endometrium. So these are the general features of the proliferative phase of the uterus. In this section, we're looking at a uterus that's in the secretory phase of the menstrual cycle. And in the secretory phase, the uterus is under the influence of progesterone being released from the corpus luteum of the ovary. And now we can see that this stratum functionalis layer is much larger compared to the stratum basalis layer. So now all the uterine glands and arteries have been reconstituted and are now much more longer in length. And in particular, we can see the key characteristic feature of the uterine glands of the secretory phase in that they have this serrated appearance that it almost looks like it's a corkscrew uh, shape. And in addition, we can see the secretory product building up in the lumen of these glands. And adjacent to these uterine glands, we can see the spiral arteries once again outlined in this green block. And the spiral arteries actually become more convoluted and actually have become thicker in appearance. So now these arteries have extended out towards the endometrium as they're providing blood supply and nutrients for the, the glandular tissue, as well as um, now the endometrium in the secretory phase is awaiting implantation from a fertilized egg that has been released by the oviduct. So this is one of the key features of the secretory phase of the endometrium in that we have the highly coiled spiral arteries as well as this corkscrew or serrated appearance of these uterine glands. In this tissue section we can see the uterus is in the menstrual phase which is characterized by a breakdown in the endometrial lining. So 14 days after ovulation, the corpus luteum will no longer produce progesterone. Therefore, this endometrial lining no longer remains viable. So essentially, the menstrual phase, if we look at the endometrial lining, is characterized by a dilation of these spiral arteries. So these spiral arteries actually intermittently contract and eventually become uh, ischemic or necrotic. And then all this stratum functionalis layer will eventually be released in a process that's known as desquamation. So as desquamation occurs and we have this stratum functionalis layer being sloughed off, the only viable layer of cells is going to be uh, found in that stratum basalis layer. And from then on, 
uh, the uterus will then undergo once again the proliferative phase where a rebuilding and reconstitution of this endometrial lining will occur.